the USGS and the Ohio Division of Wildlife have been doing this project for a while. We're trying to capture fish near where they spawn in order to tag specific spawning groups. We're in the middle of a long process here to try to determine how finely yeah. the yellow perch stock is structured in Lake Erie. That's it's going to take many years to do that. We're going to have to tag tens of thousands of fish yeah. and get as many recaptures as we possibly can. We put a pit tag just underneath their pectoral um, girdle, or right above those fins right, right there. there. You can't really see it, so anglers wouldn't be able to see it to say, I got to tag fish. Uh, the tags are about the size of a grain of rice, really small. We're trying to learn where fish are moving to in the lake. We know where we've tagged them, and if we know where the fish have been captured, we can determine how they've, where they've moved. And then we're gonna put all these fish at large, and then we can sample them later on with our scanning equipment. And from there, we can actually get some population metrics like exploitation and natural mortality estimates that go into the, the lake-wide management of these things. Without fisheries management, we wouldn't have fish to catch. Um, so uh, fisheries management is just the, the basis of, of why we have a, a fishable population in the lake. Um, without it, it would be likely that it would be overfished uh, to the point where Lake Erie would no longer be a world-class fishery. But why it's beneficial to the angler and the coarser, you know, the coarser perspective, longer term perspective is to ensure sustainable management of yellow perch in Lake Erie, we need to know how finely structured the population is. But it's, it's often cited that it's about a, a billion dollar sport fishery in Lake Erie and yellow perch is going to be a big chunk of that. Um, that includes uh, all the time people spend driving to their fishing locations, the hotels, the gas, the dinners, uh, the bait, um, the, the charter captains and, and all of that. So a, a billion dollars goes into Ohio's economy every year or likely more um, just from sport fishing. The goal was to scan a million fish from the commercial and we can do that. But we wanted to scan another 250,000 from the anglers. We, we can't scan enough at the docks. You know, we can, if they can come to us, then it'll help a lot. The best thing you can do this year is find a scanning location and take your fish to a location to scan it for a tag. Citizen science, uh, by definition, is really just people that are not scientists taking part in research one way or the other. Uh, and so in this case, it's going to be anglers. Uh, most of who are not going to be biologists, but they can actually supply data for the biologists that are leading this project. Um, so just by going out and fishing like they're going to be doing anyway, there's just a very small change that they'll have to make in making sure their fish are getting to the scanners. And by doing that, they're going to they're gonna give the DNR and the USGS a ton more data. Um, and because of that, they'll actually be helping to manage the very fish that they're, that they're catching. There will be scanners at several recreational fishing landing areas across the central and probably western basins of Lake Erie. Any time an angler catches a fish, we'd like to have them take it to a scanning location and see if it has a tank. They're perfectly safe to eat. Yeah, they have not been treated with any chemicals or any, any other substance that might make it dangerous. And the tag is placed in a location where it will not, there will be no danger of it being included in a fillet. The more anglers we can reach, the better off we are. The more we help we can get, the more data we can get, the better the fishing is going to be in the future.